Jerry Muskrat's heading back towards Lake Ontario, fresh from a visit to Battlefield House Museum. And a battlefield victory? It was a reenactment, Jerry. A steam room, just what a soldier needs to wind down. You're not a soldier and this isn't a spa. It's the Museum of Steam and Technology, a national historic site and civil engineering landmark. Whoa! These two steam engines are the only ones of their kind still standing in North America. Steam power was used to pump clean water from Lake Ontario up to a reservoir, which gravity then brought down to Hamilton. This pump house supplied water to the city for 51 years, from 1859 to 1910. Ready for some steam travel? All right! Back in the 1850s, Hamilton was at the heart of the Canadian Industrial Revolution, bursting with new factories, new jobs, and new people. But growth came at a cost. The city's water supply was contaminated with industrial, household, and human waste. Ugh, people, your waterways are not toilets. Yep. Cholera, a terrible infectious disease, began to spread, wiping out entire families. So the city of Hamilton took action. The new waterworks helped keep cholera from spreading, it helped keep fire from spreading, and it made for some pretty cool water features. Splendid fountain, old chap! How refreshing! Refreshing for the residents of the city, but not so much for the workers at the pump house where temperatures could reach 45 degrees Celsius. Teams of three or more would work round the clock making sure the water kept flowing. Stokers stoked coal, oilers oiled the engines, and engineers made sure the whole thing ran like a top. Dude, are you an engineer? Hey, James McFarland's the name. Chief engineer of the Hamilton Pump. I held this post from the day it was born to the day it was retired. Steam me up, Scotty. <laughs> oh, I guess you don't know sci-fi, eh, James? Of course I do. I read Jules Verne's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, inspired by the kind of revolutionary steam-powered technology you find right here. Ooh, that reminds me. Captain Nemo sent me on a mission to find his lost pieces. I need to find something metallic. Jerry, everything here is metallic. So, James, uh, can you tell me about the pumps? Certainly. These are Wolf Compound rotative double-acting engines made by John Gartshaw's Iron and Brass Foundry right here in Dundas. They were chosen by Thomas Coltrane Kiefer, who was the chief engineer while it was being built and designed the whole system. Coal stored in the woodshed is used to boil water and create steam in the boiler house, which is then directed into the cylinders in the engine house. It pushes the pistons up and down, making the walking beam go up and down, making the pump rod on the other end go up and down in the opposite direction. This draws water into the pump and forces it out under pressure through a pipe to the reservoir. There it is! Yoink! Ah, you wee devil, that's my belt buckle! Gotta run, engineer dude. I'm on a mission. But don't you want to hear what the pump says? What does the pump say? Ring ding 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 ding. Pop 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 pop. Hutty hutty hut hut hutty ho. Oh. 